where news comes first. This is WECT News at 11. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Daniela Hanke. Celebrating local black history. A crowd filled the seats at Mount Moriah AME Church in Rocky Point to watch a documentary about the Wilmington 10. The Wilmington 10 was a group that was wrongfully incarcerated for a decade back in 1971. WCT's Delaney Tarpley went to that screening and spoke to some of the attendees. Delaney, there were some people there who had a special connection to the Wilmington 10. That's right, Daniela. I spoke to Dr. Bertha Boykin Todd. She's an author now, but she used to work at Hoggard High School. That was where she met seven of the boys who were wrongfully accused of setting fire to a grocery store. She says to know that their story is still being told today gives her hope for the future. I can't tell you how gratified I am to see the interest now in the history that occurred. That's how 94-year-old Dr. Bertha Boykin Todd says it feels to see this room full. To watch a documentary about the Wilmington 10, some of whom Boyk and Todd had a close relationship to. I knew seven of the Wilmington 10 when I was in administration at Hoggard High School. Nine of the Wilmington 10 were young black men. Along with an older white woman, they were charged with conspiracy and arson back in 1971. Dr. Boyk and Todd said she knew from the start they were innocent. I knew their personalities. They were too immature with no vengeance in their hearts to do what the policeman or the department accused them of doing. Dr. Boykin Todd said she helped in overturning those convictions, setting them free after a decade of time in prison. The crowd learning about that history. History is start, starting to repeat itself. And if we don't do something now, it will continue to repeat itself. One attendee said it was especially encouraging to see younger people at the screening. Ignorance of the past will doom our future. You know, especially young ones coming up, thinking everything is um, pie and ice cream, but it's not. This is a real world out here. And, you know, you have to be right is right and wrong is wrong. And there's no in between. Dr. Boykin Todd feels the same way. I can't tell you how gratified I am to see courageous people and individuals who are now willing to move forward. Moving forward by learning from our area's history. To celebrate Black History Month, the documentary has been shown three times so far this month. Your next opportunity to watch the film will be next Friday, February 23rd at the Willard Outreach Center. For more information, you can visit this story over on our website. Delaney, thanks for that report this evening.